Hello, my name is Lucinio Souza, and today I want to demonstrate our CFI DeFi combo in TSMC 12 nanometer FinFET technology. So let's get right to it. What we have here is a state of the art 64 megapixel image sensor configured to operate at 3.5 giga symbols per second, which is the data rate associated with uh, C5 version 1.2. And it is connected to our CD5 RX 12 nanometer solution assembled in this board. Uh, you can see the nine SMP connectors that represent the three trios, and the actual test chip is right here. The SMP cables are intercepted with the uh, this special test probe and connected to a high frequency scope. So looking at the scope, what we are showing here is the actual C5 traffic and relevant signals in the CD5 RX PPI interface. So the PPI interface is the interface between the physical layer and the protocol layer sitting above, CSI2 for camera or DSI for display. We start by probing uh, the CRC acknowledge to each burst. Uh, this carries uh, a line of the image. So each burst carries a line of, of the image. As you can see, it is recovering all lines coming in. That's why we have the pulses being uh, going up. The delta between each CRC act pulse represents the horizontal resolution. In this case, it's 9,248 pixels, which is huge. The image resolution being transmitted again, it's 64 megapixels. So this represents the 9,248 uh, horizontal uh, uh, pixels. Uh, and 6,944 vertical pixels. So now we change the setup a little bit and we wanna look at the recovered clock in the, in the PPI interface. So the PHY is recovering the C5 traffic coming in from the line and takes care of the necessary transformations until we get the bitstream and the associated clock signal in the PPI interface. So here we measure 500 megahertz, uh, which makes sense as, as we are operating at 3.5 gigasymbols per second. So let me just elaborate here. Uh, we have 16 bits per cycle coming out of the PPI interface in C5 mode the uh, in receiving mode, the demapping algorithm implemented under the hood converts a sequence of seven symbols to 16 bits. So if we do, if we multiply 500 by seven, we end up with the 3.5 giga symbols per second. Our C5 in 12 nanometer is able to recover the C5 traffic at 3.5 giga symbols per uh, second per trio. And in this case, the traffic is coming from a real device. Uh, we're, we're talking about one of the most advanced image sensors available today. Note that the total bandwidth for the three trios is 10.5 giga symbols per second, which translates to approximately 20, 24 gigabits per second total bandwidth. So since the uh, the symbols, each symbol carries approximately 2.28 bits of information. It's one of the interesting things about the C5 architecture. Now, switching gears, uh, let's look at the CD5 TX. So let's look at the transmitter side. The setup is very simple. We have the same board with the CD5 TX test chip. We configure the setup to run at um, 3.5 giga symbols per second per lane in C5 mode. We exercise the PPI and we connect directly to the scope. Uh, in the scope, we, the, we have the official test tool to run the MIPI C5 CTS version 1.2, the conformance, conformance test specification. Uh, we hit the run, the run button to get the report and we need to wait a little bit. And once we wait, we get the, we start getting the eye diagrams that looking, they're looking very good, as well as the various parameters that need to be checked as per the CTS uh, spec. As you can see, everything is passing with distinction, which is which is great. Let's also look at the CD5 TX configured in D5 mode and operating at 4.5 gigabits per second per lane. So for the four lanes, we're talking about uh, 18 gigabits, gigabits per second total bandwidth. Uh, 4.5 gigabits per second per lane is the uh, D5 version 1, uh, 2.1 um, of the spec. So we exercise the PPI and we run, in this case, we're running a built-in tool that, for eye diagram analysis in the scope. And here you can see that the data rate is 4.5 gigabits per second. And here it is, the, dia the eye diagram that looks very good. So 
Um, at Synopsys, we we guarantee and deliver a high quality, robust solution for uh, for MIPI. And one of the the many things we do is um, actually run all these steps in different voltage and temperature corners to make sure that we have positive results. We did it, we did this with the uh, 12 nanometer test tip that I'm showing you here. But we actually also have a, a seven nanometer version of this test chip, uh, same architecture in seven nanometer, and it shows the same behavior. So, um, and that's it. Actually, uh, this concludes the demonstration of our CFI-DFI combo, which is now available in uh, all advanced FinFET nodes. We're talking about TSMC 16, 12, 7, 6, and 5 nanometer. So if you need more information, please don't hesitate in reaching out to Synopsys. Uh, we will be more than happy to continue the discussion. Thank you.